Welcome to England, kids. A land of dirty sex and cheap Chinese food. I actually have roots here. My grandpa, Israel Factor Lovage, invented the beach towel in Manchester over a century ago. That's me, and this is... We're in London, Chinatown, Kowloon restaurant. I love this fucking place, man. I've had pork buns all over the world. As you know, I grew up in one of the most densely populated places with Asians in the world in Flushing, Queens, and I've had pork buns everywhere. There is not one that compares to this right here. Please help me. I need some warm. You have the warm ones? Warm. Hot. Uh, it's, uh, you have some that are hot? It's, uh, a little warm. Pork, yeah, yeah. Temperature. Yes, warm. It's warm? It's barbecue pork on GH. It's like Barry Bonds fucking filling. It's ridiculous. Pause on Barry Bonds filling. Mmm. There you go. Thank you. You always gotta take this little fucking little diaper off right there. Oh, man. Oh. Yum yum. This lady right here is responsible for the buns. Yum yum ta siu bao. Yeah, so tell, 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 tell him, tell him, yo, tell him who you are, son. Yum yum ta siu bao. That's right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My name is ta siu bao. My, got what? it? Yeah. You got that? Best one. The best one in the world. In the world. Period. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I hate that I love this so much. It's time to, it's time to get healthy for the day. For the day at least. I hope health for the day. Fuck delicious. <laughs> <laughs> what can I get for you? Can I please get a Caesar salad with the chicken? Yeah, would you put like anchovies in the mall? Uh you could put the anchovy on the side. I don't smoke weed anymore. I smoke the derivative. Smoke that good extract, that vanilla. Anything else? Yeah, let me get uh, the 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 bar combo. Sorry. I can't quite understand you. Sorry. <laughs> Can I please get the bar combo? And you had the whip. Can you understand my language? No, no, <laughs> it's, it's really ruffled, I can't hear it. Okay, you know the combo platter with the arancini balls, the satay? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the combo, I'm sorry my English is not that good. <laughs> no, it's me, I can't understand. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> 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 so, apparently I speak a different language. How can a motherfucker not understand me? How do you not understand what I'm saying to you? Oh shit, she's still on the phone. Ah, the good old kebab house. This is my temple right here. As I try to be as discreet as possible, there's only one thing on my mind, and it's burning flesh spiced very expensively. We're at one of my favorite places right now. Every time we come to this side of the planet, first place we gotta come right off top. I need curry in my life. I need seek kebab. It gets you over your little, your little jet lag. You eat all these spices and you're ready to go. Take a little bump of fucking cumin. We're out here. Al Jazeera on TV. <laughs> Man, the real star of the show. This is called Michael Jackson Lamb. This man's sole purpose in life is to grill lamb chops to perfection every single time someone orders it. He has no sex ever. He just grills lamb. That's it. It's not fair, the flavor of this lamb. It's not, it's not fair to the other lambs. 
I've had lamb in a lot of places, but this, this is, this tastes the cake for everything. It's the best shit ever. Hit that with the yogurt. Good taste the fire. You can taste the milk that this lamb had. Pure for AIDS. 100%. London Town, man. Brick Lane, at two of the finest bagel establishments that there are. I don't know about this one. Every time I come here, it's a little iffy. But this one, that's the spot, man. Every time you come here, it's fucking packed. Everything is always fresh. It's always incredibly delicious. So I'm gonna just, you know, do a little comparison one time between the two. I want to end this bullshit forever because, you know, motherfuckers swear by that and they swear by this, but I just had so much Indian food, so I'm going to have, I'm going to find someone to do a taste test for me, one of the locals. <laughs> What's your name? Janet. Janet? Janet. Janet? Janet. Janet. Yeah. All right, Janet. We have Janet here, and she's going to help us with our little taste test, okay. So this is from Britain's first, apparently, bagel shop. Go ahead, take a bite and tell me how you feel about it. All right, wrap that up, save that for later. Put it in your pocket. Now this right here is from Bagel Bake. Tell me how you feel about this one. That one looks better already, it looks right? Better. It looks better, yeah. It looks better. Yeah. Go ahead, you got it. This one's much better. That's the one, right? It's the one. It's, it's Tell me how you feel about it. It's um the bagel, the, the bagel, the um the the beef is is succulent and yeah. it's lovely. It's got it's got good flavour. Yeah. And the bagel, how do you the feel? The, the bagel is soft and nice. It's soft, and crispy, fresh, fresh yeasty. Yeasty, yes. Yeah. As Janet will tell you, and I think anybody, any local around will tell you that, by far, Bagel Bake is the one. And uh, that's the only place you should be getting your late night bagel with uh, salted beef. Am I correct? Indeed, yeah, you're, you're correct. Ah, thank you. Thank you, darling. I appreciate everything. Enjoy so you that. You want a bite of that? No, no, you, you, eat away. You sure? Yeah, for sure. Yeah? Enjoy okay, that. Then. Thank you very much. What's thank you. Name? Bobby. Bobby? Yeah. There you have it. Janet. Here having a traditional now motherfuckers don't even eat this shit no more. This is very old timey. I wanted to have something very indigenous to the land. So here we are at Maggie Mays eating scouse. Basically goulash. A meat stew with potatoes, carrots. Hearty, stick to your ribs food for work. This is a real workman's meal. All the docksmen, when they're working with their hard hands and their hard faces, they're eating scouse. That's what's keeping the port alive. This right here is the heartbeat of a city. Heartbeat of a city. <laughs> this is how you gain weight. Would you like to learn how to gain weight? Chip on bread, some scouse that's riddled with potato. 
Then you go and get some white rice and put it on top. This is called white trash bruschetta. <laughs> Oh man, the white trash we set the game is through the roof phenomenal. Oh my god. I'm not gonna tell you fucks how I just tore down every single goddamn show I did. Ooh. Uh, I'm high, really high. And uh, <laughs> that's fucking uh, delicious. That's Stonehenge. That is incredible. Uh, you better slow down, baby. Colors like a care bear. All year, see me tan, hopping out the van. You wasn't there, now you trying to show face. Chrome skates on the old day, remote control chains, promote dope for the veins. Poke chains, hoes and rose lay. East stakes off a gold plate, stone listening in the cold plate. Just had one of my biggest shows I've ever had in my entire life in London. Better slow down, baby. Uh, better I just felt like I needed to leave the venue. I was really hungry in the middle of the show and I really wanted chicken. I didn't have any pounds on me. You have any pounds on you? Huh? You have any pounds on you? Nah, Mike. You have any money on you? No one would. No one had fucking money on me. Who walks out of the house without money? I didn't have money because I left it inside. I didn't, what is going on with this motherfucking thing? Yo, you got five pounds on you? Who got pounds on you? Five pounds. You, five, you don't have no money? So, I left everything inside. Had a little walk about the street. I saw a chicken spot right outside the venue and I was like, I want fucking chicken. We went across the road. Please, brother. Unfortunately, the man would not give me any chicken because I didn't have any money on it. What's that bad boy, actually? Boy, come on, get in this with me. What's that bad boy, actually, man? Actually, you're a bad boy. I had promised him to come right back, but he did not believe me. I was shirtless. I wouldn't fucking believe me. I looked like an idiot. I'm a sick fuck, bro. I'm not, I want the chicken, honestly. So now I'm going to get my damn fried chicken. You can't make good fried chicken without that good flavoring. It's all about the dredge, the dredging you use. Usually I wouldn't stick my finger in it, but tonight I will. It's for my fucking friends, scum. I'm honestly trying to mimic BBQ's penny wings right now. Listen, bottom line, I look at a motherfucking girl, she's getting pregnant. I'm fertile. You want kids? You want kids with blue eyes, nice hair, well-spoken, good schools? Oh my God. <laughs> All right. My gosh, I need my salad toast. There she is. Oh my Are god. We're here to toss the salad. She's here to toss the salad. Really, really, really need my salad toast right now. I've never tossed a salad before. I'll show you. I've tossed a few in my day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take this dressing that I've made mm -hmm. and we're gonna, I'm gonna lay it over here. And you're just gonna go up in there and toss your little heart out. Going in with the nuts, you're gonna fucking crush the nuts. I'll crush hand, the, okay. With your bare hand. I've done that before. Yeah. You don't know how much I can't wait to finish this bullshit. Uh, I literally hate every single person in this kitchen. They're all a fucking bunch of schmucks. I wish I could kick every single one of them right in their fucking dicks. Revolutionary things going on right now. 
unreal flavor the coleslaw is put on the board. Look at this. Piles, piles of delicious coleslaw. The whole shit of the whole night. And here we go, here we go, here we go. Hit, hold out, hold out, hold out. One more stroke, one more stroke, one more stroke. Ah, 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 ah. Now we're in this quaint little countryside town for a lovely Nigerian feast that's gonna be prepared by one of my favorite families in all of England, the lovely Odiways. Hi, I'm Jane, and tonight I'm really excited because I've got Action Bronson coming for dinner. I can't believe it. I hope he's gonna like what I'm cooked. I'm a little bit nervous because I know he's a really, really brilliant chef, but um, I've, I've done my best, fingers crossed. <laughs> Traditional Nigerian food. Three different stools, lamb, beef, chicken. Oh man, five different rices, all kinds of starch. Then we got plantains that are so sweet, you would swear you're eating a piece of candy. But then you put a little bit of salt on it and it changes the entire complexity of life. How are you, darling? I'm fine. I How couldn't are you? wait to come here. You don't even oh. know. Thank you so much. Oh, again. it's such Appreciate a pleasure. It. I heard that the food is incredible. Oh. Smells I hope unheard so. of right now. <laughs> I can't wait, shall oh, we? Oh, we shall. We shall. Hold on, let me lock up, make sure that nobody intrudes on this one. <laughs> This is the best meal I've had in a long time. Oh. I'm serious. I'm very so serious. Sweet. You have hands of gold. <laughs> I'm serious. You're incredible. Please tell me about these students. Well, <laughs> when I was hmm, 17, oh, wow. I met this really gorgeous young man. There he is. And, <laughs> yeah. There he is. And that didn't work out. And so. <laughs> he. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I came from a very typical English, mm -hmm. white area. I never had anything, anything like this before. And I just thought it was amazing. And um, so I, I very quickly wanted to know how to do it. And uh, yeah, I've been cooking it for a few years now. <laughs> It's the end of the world, my friends. I've taken you from bagels to curry to scouse to this to that. Smiles, cries. Man, good times, good people, unbelievable memories. Fuck off till next time on Fuck That's Delicious. Welcome to FTD. Let me take you to Fuck That's Delicious Town. <laughs>